Hello, Bushcraft Family back again with another video, and you're here to check out what the shortages are going to be for this month and probably coming months. Um, something I've been doing uh, usually takes quite a while to compile the list of the top <laughs> shortages. Unfortunately, it does take a while because there are so many right now, and trying to come up with the the most one is sometimes a little daunting, but I go through reports, uh, some websites that I do uh, am members to and things like that, but let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? <sighs> okay, number one, you guys will kind of guess it, it's going to be eggs again. Eggs and chicken. Yes, there is a lot of chicken shortages, just not eggs. Um, eggs are going up so high. Uh, I've talked about it. I've made videos about it, so I'm not going to get too much into the egg business. But uh, a lot of people are seeing shortages on chicken. They go in and there is no chicken to be found. So... If you you are really into the chicken, and I would suggest going out and getting as much as you can when you can see it. Our next one is beef. Yes, beef. Uh, and it kind of, as soon as I, I hear about this, it's, where's the beef? You know, back, back in the 80s, that little old lady. Where's the beef? Um, in uh, 2022, uh, ranchers and farmers uh, faced all kinds of difficulties due to record-breaking weather events. Texas, the country's largest beef producer, was plunged, plagued by an extreme drought uh, for the majority of the summer. Many ranchers were forced to uh, do away with their their uh, livestock. <laughs> we'll put it that way, uh, and bring a lot of them to slaughter that were probably not ready yet. Um, but now that is putting a major damper on our beef right now. So those that would be going to slaughter and whatnot were already in that process because uh, it was cheaper for them to slaughter them back then. And another issue with that is the price of feed. Uh, the price going up, so is our beef. So that's another one on our list that's going to have to look for. And I've put this in here before. Uh, it doesn't really bother me because I, I don't drink champagne, but champagne is on the list. And it is, uh, for some reason, it is on that list. Um, it's not... A big concern, like I said, I, I don't drink champagne, uh, but for those who may be grabbing a bottle for a celebration or something like that, you may find it hard to find uh, your your brand of champagne that you usually uh, get. <laughs> but let, let's move on to that. And in... Uh, reports again it is lettuce lettuce is still so far behind um, a lot of uh, fast food places don't have lettuce for their burgers or salads or anything like that um, it's real hard to find lettuce right now certain types of lettuce uh, and it's because of that um, that disease or virus whatever you want to call it that plagued farmers it took out whole crops 
they're still it's it's coming back but it, it's going to take a while before we get back to that spot and when this happens since there's such a big shortage when lettuce does come back it's going to go up in price and our next one is canned drinks and food uh, a lot of cans nowadays are made out of aluminum so unfortunately anything that's made out of aluminum is going to go up in price or you're just not going to see it from pet food to pop cans beer cans all that kind of stuff um, and again the co2 shortages uh, will plague those pop and beer <laughs> Our next one is, and I've said this before, but uh, it seems it's more of a shortage, and sunflower in palm oil. And cocoa oil, like sun, sunflower and palm oil, is something that most of us use every single day, making this shortage especially concerning uh, similar to uh, fertilizer and bread. Uh, and large part of this is going to be uh, what's going on on Ukraine and, and Russia over there. But like I said, it's 50% it's of the stuff comes from Russia and Ukraine that so we're going to see shortages on that and it's not getting any better anytime sooner and one of the big producers for for uh palm oil is Indo indonesia i'll get it out um which enacted a policy starting january which set a stricter limit on its palm oil exports in order to main a domestic supply. So again, I talked about this in the past. Countries are uh, slacking off on their exports, meaning they're not shipping off all their food and then wondering, why are we starving to death? Uh, hmm, maybe a certain, our country should be thinking about that themselves instead of shipping off all of our money and our resources we should be worried about our country first and then start making money for whatever is left over and our next one here is bread and wheat products yes uh the price of bread has gone up so much um not only that is you hardly see you see that cheap bread that has the bioengineered ingredients in it all over the place so if if you're not wanting to get stuff that was made in a lab then you look for the stuff that doesn't have that label on it and it's far in between. So, and again, it's blamed on the Russia and Ukraine thing going on. So, again, 30% of our, our wheat comes from that region over there. So, you get it. Our next one is corn. Yes, corn. Uh Many, many regions within uh, um, states include Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Nebraska, South Dakota were showing dismal yields, which trailed numbers from the pre previous year, um, which put a damper on corn. And a lot of the corn that was grown went for um, feed and uh, ethanol. 
So that didn't leave much left for the consumer, for you know, corn on the cob, cornmeal, stuff like that. So, and they're not seeing anything, any relief down the road for this. So unless we get major crops at the end of this year, um, it's going to be very bad the coming years for corn. So if you like cornbread and stuff like that, get that cornmeal now before it's gone and you don't see it for months and months. As uh, far as canned corn and stuff like that, get it when you can. Um, fresh corn on the cob, grow it. <laughs> and our last one here is going to be oranges and orange juice. Yes. And with the hurricanes and whatnot and the major cold, cold front that came through, we took a major hit uh, on our growing season. Um, it was down by 20 million boxes of oranges, according to the U.S. Department of You-Know-Who. This would be Florida's lowest output since 1936. Whew. Yes, so that means this year the whole year more than likely is going to be hurting for oranges and orange juice. So be on the lookout for that. <laughs> um, that right now is, is the list. Um, usually I do 10 or whatever, but these were the major ones that I wanted to get out there uh, of shortages. And again, I know I put in a couple things, uh, sh champagne, a lot of us probably won't even bother with that, but um, it, it's on the list, and there's reasons for it. Um, same thing with lettuce and eggs. I've said it before, and it's it's getting to be a uh, no 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 relief in sight for those products. Until next time, guys. Like always, God bless.